So the hamburger rule is this. If you find yourself buying things with credit and not paying off your credit cards in full, so you're emotionally buying. This is how I come up with the hamburger rule, by the way. I was emotionally buying stuff. I wasn't paying off my credit card debt. I didn't have the money to pay off the credit card debt. The credit cards are there for an emergency, so I didn't want to cut them up because then I couldn't use them. I didn't want to cancel them because that was my emergency backup plan. And if you cancel the credit card, your score goes down, as you know. Someone's like, well, um, lock them up in your safe. Well, and then what? I just go open the safe when I want to go buy something or put them in a drawer, or put them in your wallet, don't touch it. The problem is if it's in my wallet, I'm going to use it. If it's in my drawer in the office, I'm going to use it. If it's in the safe, I'll just go open the safe and get it. Then someone said, put it in a Tupperware container and fill the container full of water and then put it in the freezer. Well, guess what? If you put it in a Tupperware container and put water in there and it freezes, it's on the bottom. So when you open it up, because you have an emergency, open up, you just flip it over, put some hot water on it, and the credit card comes off. So that wasn't enough. And then I thought about it. I'm like, what if I made a hamburger card sandwich? And I literally took my credit cards. I took a pound of hamburger. I separated it. And I've done this on, on 50 plus TV shows now. I separated. I put the hamburger in the middle. I mean, I put the credit cards in the middle. I folded over the patty. I made it into a credit card meatball and I put it in the freezer. Now, if there's an emergency, I can thaw it out, but it's going to take several hours because I can't put it in the microwave because it'll blow up the credit card and ruin the magnetic strip. And I got to put it in the mic in a sink full of water, but it's not going to melt instantly. It's going to take a long time. And in that time, it's an enough to talk yourself out of your purchase. It's enough to like talk yourself down. And so that's how I started the hamburger rule is if you find yourself using your cards and you can't control it, take the temptation away, put it in a package of hamburger in a Tupperware thing and put it in the fridge so, or the freezer. So that's what I, that's what I mean by the hamburger rule. And if you've seen me do it, that's what I'm talking about. Or this person asked about it. That's really what it is, is it's making it take a little bit longer. So a little bit of delayed gratification, la delayed response or delayed ability to get to the credit card and just keeping them away from you.